breaky news. Welcome to today's headlines. Aqua Ibom. Cross River people can never be a part of Biafra. Here is why. Aqua Hibom, Cross River people can never be a part of Biafra. Here is why. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as we read today's news. Unam Dekanu, founder of the indigenous people of Biafra Lipo, recently ignited some controversies when he published what he called the map of the proposed Biafra. In the map, he included other states that are not geographically part of the Hibo region, including Aqua Hibom, Cross River, and other South South states. Many people from this region reacted angrily and felt that the decision to publish the map exposed Unam Dekano's intention to lord it over other people and force them into a project illusion that is doomed to fail. According to Akwarawa James Edet of the BBO Union, Mobuho Nkwarawa BBO considers it an affront an act of extreme provocation and a stretch to the breaking point of the tolerance limit of the Ibibio people for some self-serving individuals in the cloak of indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, to hurriedly put out to the public a map of their dream, Republic of Biafra, without any modicum of respect to consult. Our own prided land of heritage of our Kwahibom state, as well as those of our blood brothers, Along the Atlantic coast of Bayesa, Cross River, Delta Land River State, he said in a statement. The Union's angry reaction reflects the injustice done to the Biafra minority during the short lived Biafra Republic. The atrocities were brought to live in a published work by Arua Oko Omaka, who chronicled the sufferings of the Biafra minorities in a publication titled The Forgotten Victims, Ethnic Minorities in the Nigerian Biafra War, 1967-1970. According to him, the conflict took a toll on human lives on both the Hebrew and the ethnic minorities in Biafra. While the Igbo tragedy was largely perpetrated, in northern Nigeria that of the Biafran minorities, Efik, Ijo, Ogoja, Ibibio, 
occurred mainly in their homeland. The gorilla experiences suffered by the Biafran minorities have largely been neglected in the historiography of the Biafra War. He noted that the minorities suffered a high degree of persecution, molestation, injustice, psychological torture and other forms of suffering which have not been fully examined in existing literature. The war subjected them to layers of loyalty and is loyal to both to the federal authority and the Biafran government. The icon in the present day Cross River State presents a good example of the crimes committed against the minorities. The Ikun clan is in the Bias local government area of Cross River State. The people share a common boundary with the Oafia and Ibu clan in the present day Abia State. When the war broke out, Biafra stationed some of its troops in the Cross River region, including Ikun. According to a female survival victim of the Biafran occupation, the Ikun initially supported Biafra and had friendly relations with the soldiers who we were also accommodating. To my dear listeners, Now, we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view.